What are the five key wine accessories that every wine lover needs to have? Find out more and watch my video. Stay tuned. Hi, it's Faylene and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing below and click on the bell notification and you'll get notified when I have new videos. And if you're returning to my channel, thank you so much for watching. Today's video is all about key wine accessories that I think are important to make sure you have if you don't already. The first one I'm going to talk about is making sure you have a foil cutter. Most wine bottles, if you're not buying a screw top, and I would say 98% of the bottles that I buy are not screw top, um, they're actually enclosed as such, and you need to actually cut through the top part to open it up before you use the cork. So this foil cutter has sharp ends on both sides. You can just use it to twist the top off, and then you can proceed to pull the cork out. So if you don't have a foil cutter, I would recommend you pick one up. They're very, very inexpensive. The second thing is having some kind of cork um, opener or something, some kind of device to pull the cork out of your wine bottle. You can go with an automatic wine cork opener. This is something that is as such, and this is pretty easy because it has an up, down, up, up button or a down button, depending upon the cork and the placement of it. Again, this is an automatic wine cork opener. If you don't have something as fancy as that, you can also have the traditional wine cork op opener. So this is a pretty sturdy one that I like to use because some wine bottles um, are really heavy wine bottles and some are lighter. So sometimes you need a little bit more force to get that cork out. And the last thing you ever want to do if you can prevent it is to have the cork shred inside of the wine bottle. It's a disaster. You can get it out, but I like my corks to come out very easily and not be worried about it. So my third wine accessory is instead of taking the wine cork out and putting the wine cork back in your bottle to preserve it, I recommend you invest in some kind of cute little wine cork stopper. There's tons of them out there in the marketplace. I sell many of these on my website. I like these little shoe corks. So this is like a purple and a pink one. They're the cutest little thing. You can just stop it in there. And it's just having something a little bit more dainty, in my opinion, than just the regular wine cork. So invest in some kind of wine cork stopper. Um, again, I sell those on my website uh, at DazzlingConceptsForYou.com. I'll make sure I include the link, uh, my website information below so you can purchase it and use a discount code and get something off. I sell all kinds of wine accessories because I love wine, if you can't tell. So I encourage you to spend some time on my site and see what kind of goodies I have for sale. The four things I'm gonna talk about, and I call it an accessory, but I think it's critical. As a wine lover, you wanna make sure you make some good investment into some wine glasses. Um, you can go with kind of a heavier crystal. This is, this is a Makaska brand and I love just the way that the crystal kind of looks and reflected against the light. I have champagne glasses, martini glasses, wine glasses. Invest in some quality wine glasses. Um, you want to have friends and guests over and you want to just be able to have tons of options that you can pull to in your cabinets when it comes time to drinking or sampling or tasting wines. I have a lot of cute sassy wines as well. And then the last thing I'll talk about is investing in some kind of decanter. Um, Z Gallery has some really cute decanters with some little bling and crystals up at the top. They have cute decanters. A lot of stores carry a lot of decanters. And again, decanting is when you're allowing your wines to breathe. A lot of red wines need some time to breathe before you actually enjoy them. If you um, don't have a decanter, I have another video that talks about how you can decant using a blender in 30 seconds. Or if you're um, lucky enough to get a gift from someone who actually invests and gives you a decanter, or you wanna just make a decision to buy a decanter, I think that's a really good accessory that will go a long way. So those are five key accessories that I think every wine lover should have. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have not picked up one of these accessories, make sure you go and do that. Provide comments on this video, like it, um, and let me know if you have used any of these accessories. If you think there's some other cool accessories that's out there in the marketplace and you wanna share, let me know that as well. And if you haven't subscribed to my video, 
please consider subscribing. I share weekly tips and suggestions about all things in Failing's world, including wine and wine tips, such as today's video. And thank you so much for watching. And until my next video,